So tell us a little bit more about what's happening here at Ulstro Engines. We hear that you're nearing certification on uh, your, uh, your new engine. Uh, we're all aware of what, uh, what has been happening and what is still happening at Tealert and uh, we understand that it's really a strategic project for, your, for you guys to get this engine certified as quickly as possible. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the engine and how it is, uh, and how it is uh, different from the Tealert engine? Yes, of course. Um, regarding to the certification of the engine, we are working on two different certifications. One is for the production organization certification. We will manufacture here the engine according to European aviation standard. Mm -hmm. uh, and yesterday we had the, we finished the final investigation audit and now a little paperwork is necessary from the authorities and we will get our POA before end of November. Basically what you're telling us is that the production certification of the engine yes. should be here before the end of November. Yes. This means That's in two weeks. This is in two weeks. This means that we are already allowed to manufacture our products, but there is also uh, the necessary to get a type certificate for the engine, and this is planned that we receive it uh, at the end of this year, before the end of this year. Here we receive the engines, and uh, we receive core engines, uh, which are manufactured by Daimler-Benz. It is the same engine which is in use in the A and B class Mercedes-Benz car. And we receive the engine in the same way how it is used in the car. Mm -hmm. And in one of the first steps, we uh, disassemble parts which are not necessary for us in our application. Would you be kind enough to show us a little bit where you test all the components and you do yep. all the measuring? Yep. Uh, here for example we, we do a lot of measurements. Uh, our quality assurance department is the bigger, biggest department uh, in this kind of production what we have. Oh, I show you here on this side. If we identify a problem uh -huh. during incoming, and it goes behind this separated area, and it is locked. Ça c'est la c'est la partie euh, en fait où ils vont isoler toutes les pièces qui n'auront pas réussi à passer leur test euh, leur test en entrée, et donc euh, c'est fermé à clé. Euh, de manière à ce qu'il n'y ait aucune possibilité qu'une pièce qui a été refusée en entrée puisse se mélanger à la chaîne de production. This is the engine, how it is coming from Daimler Benz. From Daimler Benz. Yeah. This is the, the picking cart, where you put all the picking, pieces. Picking cart and. Uh, it is not allowed to interfere between the stations, so mm -hmm. we have a, a single uh, card for one station, card for one station, for one engine, um, that the parts get not mixed. How many parts you have to mount on the engine? Uh, we have about 300 parts. In you said six hours and a half. Six and a half hours for assembly. Yes. So that's the, the basic engine. Yes. Because of the many problems what Dillard had, the authority was focusing in much more detail on our certification process and especially on these parts where Dillard had problems uh, th because they did not want to have the same problems again. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course it is the major target for us that we can, that we have to show to the customers that we have better engines, we, it is not possible that we distribute similar engines and we are asked many times the same questions uh, by our customers, you are using the same core engine, why uh, is your Should engine now more re reliable than uh, the Dillard engine was? Uh, and what the points are that we use a different damping system mm -hmm. than what Dillard has used. The whole engine and uh, all uh, additional parts are 
planned for 2,400 hours mm -hmm. lifetime. We did not change the, the main engine yeah. housing, but has been changed by dealer <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, to make it lighter. Uh, we are a little bit heavier, but uh, much more on the safe side. And uh, so it's not aluminum anymore. It's not uh, aluminum. It's the same engine housing what Daimler Benz is using. If we concentrated a little bit on the differences uh, on in the engine, I, I don't remember seeing something like uh, like this on the Toyota engine. That that seems to be to be new. The the wire harness uh, is. <laughs> has been developed according to military standard mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, only from seeing you can see that there are differences. Mm -hmm. uh, it yeah, has a very high reliability. One of the, the things that was uh, really uh, annoying people on uh, the, uh, the Tilly engine was uh, all the problems that could come from the electrical circuit. How did you change the electrical circuit on this engine? Uh, especially for the FADEX. We have a brand new uh, electric electronic control unit mm -hmm. and we have this developed with Bosch engineering. So that means that you worked I guess uh, specifically on uh, the, the fact that uh, the, uh, the FADEX will not be prone to problems if the voltage spiked a little bit so you got voltage dampeners on there? We have not these problems. The noose is no more. So here we are coming very close, finishing a gearbox. The gearbox has been developed with Hör, a German company, and uh, is designed for 2000. 400 hours lifetime. So you, you, will, you will not put a program in place as Tealer used to do to warranty till up to 2,400 uh, hours and then change the engine at midlife? No. Are you going to do uh, time before replacement or time before overhaul? Time before overhaul. Are you going Time before overhaul. So that means that somebody can send back the engine and have it inspected and repaired as needed and then return back to service for another 1,200 hours. Yes. Okay. No, no. Now let's talk a little bit about fuel consumption. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there have been regular rumors that uh, the Austro engine should be more economical from a fuel consumption standpoint than the Tealert engine, the 2 liter uh, Tealert engine. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Tilot has a uh, maximum from uh, 33 liters mm -hmm. with 135 horsepower. 33 liters per hour for 135 horsepower. Yeah. We have a uh, maximum uh, 36 liters. Mm -hmm. By 170 horsepower. Moi, je suis content qu'il y ait un motoriste qui sorte d'un moteur, c'est clair. Il y a quelqu'un qui a envie de faire une petite fortune dans l'aviation en ayant une très très grosse. C'est évident que c'est plus facile de, de vendre des 40 marques, de, de vendre des moteurs, de fabriquer des moteurs. Donc c est, c est, moi, j'encourage, bien sûr. Et ouais, vu actuellement la situation et sur le marché des moteurs, c'est tout. Et ben, Austro Engine, c'est vraiment une place à jouer, hein, c'est clair. Il n'y a plus de motoristes diesel. Hein, ou, si tu veux, moi, j'ai... Je fais vraiment confiance à Christian Dries pour développer un produit. Euh, il en a le temps, l'envie, les moyens. Euh, c'est une, c'est une, un atout, un atout considérable. So this is And here you can see the gearbox, what we have seen before on the workbench, assembled on the engine. But if there is no failure, then the engine is ready for packaging and delivery. <coughs> so what is here? Uh, this is uh, another test bench. Oh. Here, here the, he is performing at the moment a calibration test. Oh. 
Is it good? Yes. Yes. Good? Yes, yeah. This is the propeller test bench, uh, which has yeah. been developed okay. to test the inertia moments uh, transferred to the engine when the okay. engine is stopped okay. or starting uh, under real conditions. Uh, the whole building is noise protected that we can run it 24 hours a day.